Hey there guys, Go with the Count 23 back again with another video. And this video is going to be a review of a film that I saw the other day. Now this is going to be different to my kind of Guy with the Camera reviews videos. They were more kind of like straight down the line film reviews. This is going to be kind of a more kind of off the cuff. I suppose you could call it like a sl uh, movie slash Blu-ray review. It's a review of a film I actually bought on Blu-ray. And the film I'm going to be reviewing today for you is a, a film called Cheap Thrills. Now this is a German a German Blu-ray. Now I don't know if this with this what if, if the film came out in Germany ages ago or whether it's kind of a straight to Blu-ray release in Germany. I'm not quite sure. But this film gets I think it's a, a May 9th release in the UK and I believe it's out. It might have been out or is out in the US in a kind of limited limited capacity. But I managed to pick up this Blu-ray for a pretty good price. Um, I saw someone selling this and I. I kind of looked kind of information about the film and I thought it sounded like a really cool film uh, but I made the mistake of watching the trailer which made made the film out to be kind of different than it was it just felt like the the trailer kind of made it seem like these people like like despicable characters with no redeeming qualities at all which isn't which isn't true at all basically the film stars um, Pat Healy uh, for you who may know from uh, compliance as a guy who's just been fired from his job he's got um, a wife and kind of a 15 month old uh, child uh, to support and he's, so he's just lost his job and he goes to a kind of a bar to kind of like drown his sorrows and he um, uh, reconnects with an old friend uh, played by um, uh, called Vince played by um, Ethan Embry who, you, who I've never seen much apart from the one thing I kind of know him from was um, Howell and Kumar get the munchies go to White Castle whichever you want to call it and basically meets up with uh, that the guy Vince who he who he hasn't seen kind of like I think about five years, and they kind of reconnect um, uh, via drinking. And there's also a um, a man and his wife played by David Keckner and um, Sarah Paxton kind of, uh, and they basically me basically meet these two. It's her birthday, and he starts um, kind of making bets with these guys. He basically it starts off with things like. Um, like they they have like tequila shots and he says like fifty dollars to the first to the guy who first drinks who kind of takes the first drink and he's he basically kind of um, throwing his money around asking these guys to do kind of stupid things. I mean it starts off with kind of like harmless enough things like doing that and um, kind of trying to get this like um, uh, trying to uh, like the first person to get slapped by this woman uh, gets like fifty dollars or whatever. And um, it kind of it gradually gets a bit more kind of disturbing. Basically, they go back to this uh, this guy's house, and he um, he's kind of the really rich guy. He's got like loads of money stashed in a safe, and he basically asks, kind of offers money to these guys to do kind of increasingly kind of stupid and dangerous things. And it kind of gets to a point where it gets a little bit out out of hand, and you may possibly be able to kind of work out what happens by the. Uh, the cover art on the front it kind of gives away something to be quite honest but um, I wanted to show the blue cover anyway but the thing that really impressed me about this film is by a first time director named E.L. Katz it's um, co-written uh, co by um, Trent Hager who's a, a trauma trauma film alumni he um, I think wrote for and was acted in Terra Firma and I believe he might have co-wrote on um, Trauma and Juliet but I'm not 100% sure on that uh, created really really interesting characters uh, the guy called Craig played by Pat Healy really like I say from the trailers it looked like he was like a really horrible person but he really isn't he's, he's, ba he's down on his luck basically he's in kind of like a small apartment like I say he's got a wife and kid to feed and he's not doing a very good job at it then he loses his job and the whole thing goes his whole life goes to shit basically and he does all this this kind of this weird disgusting shit just to get money and but you can see well you can kind of see why he does certain things but certain things kind of towards the kind of the the, the second half of the film you're thinking would you really do that it's also one of the films that kind of like uh, the film funny games it's like it's like um uh what's the uh, what's the word kind of um uh kind of challenge like challenging the kind of viewer to watch different things if you know what I mean like it's kind of it's very it know it knows what kind of movie it is it knows kind of the the plot and the story but it's written very well some great performances Pat Haley is great as his kind of again that's down in his look guy David Keckner has never given uh, a um, kind of performance quite like this he's really kind of a, a really scuzzy guy 
like he he's basically got like a shitload of money, but no, doesn't know what to do with it. So it makes these these guys do that kind of weird shit. Uh, Sarah Paxton doesn't have much to do in the film, to be quite honest. She's kind of like a, a spectator, really, for that kind of the things that he gets them to do. Uh, Ethan Embry as well, who's quite um, unrecognisable in this film. Got a picture of him uh, there. Uh, really, really good. Like I say, I've only seen him in the Harold the Kumar film, but um, he's really good in this as well. Kind of this, this really dickish guy who kind of. Uh, like towards the kind of the beginning, he has an idea to kind of rob this guy, and that that kind of goes wrong. And it's just basically out for himself, and it really gets to uh, quite a crescendo at the end of the film, which I'm not going to give away. But it's kind of a shock. Well, not a shocking ending in the in regards to kind of the violence in it, which it is quite violent, but it's not it's not kind of overly done, if you know what I mean. There is a specific scene that is quite hard to watch, actually. <laughs> Um, but um, yeah, it's like I say, it's a really good film. Uh, the director kind of it's one of those directors that he doesn't really care what kind of what the reviewers say. He just kind of he wants to he wants to make a movie. Everyone who makes it is really passionate about it. Kind of the fact that you can get kind of actors of this caliber to be in a film like this is really impressive. He seems he really seems to know what he's doing, and I hope he directs kind of other things in the future. Um, I don't know if he'll kind of become more mainstream or if he'll or if he'll stick to kind of these kind of these kind of films. Like it's very, it's well, I would say disturbing, but it could be disturbing to some people. Um, but I really, really liked it. Uh, so this is a, a German Blu-ray. Uh, it's funny because I was watching this the other day, and it took me kind of a couple of minutes to realise that I was watching it with the German audio, which is kind of really, really stupid. So like I said, they were like talking, but I couldn't really kind of hear what they were saying. And then it just kind of occurs to me, this is in German. What the hell am I doing? So I changed it to uh, the uh, English audio, which is easy enough to do. But again, it's got all kind of German writing on the front. I really like this the bright yellow Blu-ray case. It really stands out from the other kind of <laughs> cases I have. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, my highest recommendation to people who kind of... It is got horror aspects in it, but it's not horror film by any stretch of the imagination. It's just got um, kind of violence in it. Uh, it's only a 15, so it's not too kind of... I mean, there's violent bits in it, but it's not kind of too gory, if you know what I mean. Um, but there is a bit with um, with a dog, which I'm not going to get into, which is kind of... Um, but yeah, really, really like this one. Give them my highest recommendation. Like I said, it has a um, cinema release in the UK on the... Well, I, think it's, I think it is the 9th of May, some, beginning of May at least. And I might even go to see it again at the cinema, I haven't decided yet, because it's one of those films that I think will benefit from seeing with an audience. Like, I think there's going to be quite a lot of kind of audience participation, like, ooh, ah, stuff like that. Um, I reckon it'd be really good to see with kind of a festival crowd would be the kind of the best way to see it. But I might go and see it in the cinema again. I haven't really decided, but I don't know if anybody will be shown by anywhere near me. Uh, also, on the Blu-ray as well, there's a great... Um, can't really see, but there's a great 40-minute uh, um, making of as well, which really gets to the kind of how they made the film, um, the, the kind of the script writing, the guy, every, everyone who's um, kind of involved with it, from the actors to the kind of cinematographers to the writers to the director. It's a, re a really good watch for anyone who's kind of um, interested in um, first um, kind of debut directing jobs very really really good um, behind the scenes feature it's a good it's a good length as well 40 minutes and uh, yep yeah, I highly recommend this film really really liked it it's not gonna be for everybody I don't think uh, but if you're a fan of kind of different cinema now there was a film out there called um, would you rather which I've never we haven't seen yet which kind of has the same kind of aspect to it but I think that's more I think this is well not having seen the film but the, um, this is this is probably be well. I would say better because I haven't seen the film, but um, but it's a, a really good story. Like I said, the act, the um, kind of characters are well rounded. Uh, kind of the characters that you don't need to know much about, you don't find out much about. But the characters that you kind of the, the Pat Healy character, I believe his name was Craig. I think Chris or Craig. I think it's Craig. Uh, you really kind of find out why he does this kind of stuff. And uh, so uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Like I say, highest recommendation from me. Um, see it in the cinema if you can. I don't know if you kind of what kind of release it will get, but uh, yeah. So that has been my review for Cheap Thrills. Uh, hope you liked it. Hope it wasn't uh, too boring for you. Hope it wasn't too long for you. 
and uh, yeah so that'll do about do for my review of Cheap Thrill so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and thanks for commenting if you do and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching